Hey guys, this is Tyler here, and it is a very chilly day here. I am going to talk to everyone about why you should start looking at alternative bank accounts and why this is especially relevant for people from US and Canada and other Western countries. So, okay, the US will obviously have a new president pretty soon, and it's going to have a lot of impact on the nation, on business policies and on citizens as a whole. Huge impact, honestly. And I have some quick predictions. I think we're gonna see in short order, I think there's gonna be like nationwide lockdowns and tax increases. They're gonna to continue to stifle the masses, unfortunately. And this is just what it is. I think they're gonna make it more challenging to obtain a passport to um, renounce citizenship, all of these kind of policies I predict will come into place. And that's why we have to be on top of everything from here on. I've spoken about importance of looking at obtaining a second passport, obtaining second residency, and especially now more than ever before. And I also will encourage people, especially guys here who have large crypto holdings, to pursue secondary bank accounts in other countries, no matter the country they're coming from. It's becoming a huge problem and I think it will be this year to be a US crypto holder and essentially they're trying to put a lot of overhead and regulation in place. For example, many people who have like Binance accounts, they're essentially uh, having to withdraw their crypto or put it in a secondary wallet. It's, it's ridiculous, honestly. And I've worked with people here, they're holding large amounts of crypto, and guys especially who have at least six and definitely seven figures worth of crypto should really consider both opening secondary bank accounts and diversifying their funds more, spreading those funds out a bit, and possibly even cashing some out. I, I'm not saying that crypto is not going to continue going up, but where it's at now, this would be a fine time, honestly, to possibly cash some of that crypto out because yes, it could definitely continue up. I think it will. There could also be a big dip soon. It's at hovering around 40,000 now, and it, it, it may continue up at the same pace or there may be a drop off it's it's difficult to say but having another bank account or few bank accounts can really save your, you guys some some stresses down the road especially those bigger holders there's obviously i've spoken about the cbi citizenship by investment and certainly for guys here who can should look also at maybe buying a second passport if you're one of these guys where you're holding six figures and possibly seven figures you've seen your crypto obviously over double possibly triple in the past six months it, it's maybe time to look at this as an option if i were in this position myself if i was holding even a six figure sum at least half a million dollars worth of crypto i personally would take a percentage of that out and have it ready to maybe just outright buy a passport for another country just to have especially if i'm from a western country where there could be huge problems even if it's not the country that you want to stay in long term it, it, you could have problems from the certain places to travel and, and just to get around if you want to open bank account in that place and whatnot it, it could really help some of the caribbean islands i think are fantastic options to look at and to help safeguard yourself that that's really an I ideal setup there and also the, with this crypto, it could certainly be as regulated as other financial industries and um, just like holding any other savings account. I mean, it's kind of unusual because crypto obviously has this inanimous way to it, but at the same time, a lot of regulators are like coming down upon it or they want to in these countries. It's just out of control and with having a democratic senate house of rep and executive in u.s office now it's a huge problem and i certainly don't have a good opinion of what i think may happen honestly in the next few years for these higher crypto holders and for anyone with substantial enough investments i think also people who have pending like divorces or child custody battles with alimony and 
anything with in the court system, whether you're in the US or elsewhere, this could be something that's very targeted for seizure. And, and you, you really have to be aware of this and, and watch this so that you aren't in a bad situation. As I mentioned before, there's over, there's offshore trust options too. And there's a few different main options in this category that would be excellent for protecting yourself, enabling you so that you have at least a percentage of whether it's normal wealth or crypto wealth or both in separate accounts and separate offshore, say trust, whatever it may be that, that's protected. Offshore trust is the most protection, but it does have more restriction, more limitation. But even just having alternative bank accounts in places is, is another very good option. So you, you really have to be on top of things right now and, and be very objective and pragmatic about where everything is headed. So give me your feedback below and thank you.